Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this video, we're going to look at how to work with VST plugins in Native Instruments Machine. The ability to use VST plugins was added in one of the more recent updates, and it allows you to work with Machine even more as the standalone rather than having to use it as a VST in another program like Ableton Live. Before you can use the plugins, you need to make sure that Machine knows where they are located on your computer. To do that, you're going to want to go into the Preferences, so we'll click on this arrow here, then go to File, and then finally go to Preferences. From here, we're going to want to go to the Plugins tab. When you load up the program, it will look in these folders for all the different plugins that you have. Now, if you have your plugins installed somewhere else, you can simply click the Add button on the bottom, then locate the folder that has your VSTs, select that, and then click the Rescan button, and that will look in those new folders for the different VSTs. If you'd like to look at the different plugins that you have already in Machine, you can go to the Manager tab, and here you'll see that you have all of the different plugins that you have loaded. You can go ahead and select them or deselect them if you don't want to use them. So now let's talk about loading a plugin. The first thing that you need to do is obviously select a sound in a particular group. So we're going to go ahead and click on Sound 1, and then we need to go ahead and select our module. When it comes to selecting a module to put a VST plugin in, you need to make sure that you select the correct one. If you're using a instrument like a synthesizer, for our case, we're going to be using Native Instruments Massive, you're going to want to make sure that you choose Module 1. Otherwise, if you're using something like an effect, you can put that on Modules 2 through 4. So we're going to go ahead and press this down arrow next to the empty module. Then we're going to go down to Plugins, and then finally we're going to select Massive. Now that we've loaded the plugin, you'll see that the name of the plugin and the icon appears to the left. And to the right, we have different knobs. If we want, we can go ahead and open up the plugin window by hovering over the name, and then clicking on the edit button. This is going to open up the plugin window where we can make all of our changes. In this case, it's massive, but it could be an effect or any other type of instrument. Now we're going to take a look at how you can work with some of the plugins inside a machine. The main focus of machine is on sequencing. Now you can either do that on the hardware or on the software, but the main way that you're going to do that with something like a VST synth is by using pad mode. So on the hardware, you could hold down pad mode and then select the keyboard button, which would be number two, over the left LCD screen. When you're ready to record notes, you can input them directly in the software, but you're probably going to be doing it using the hardware. So we're going to go ahead and record a couple notes here. So now that we've gone ahead and recorded our notes, you'll see that they're played on different parts of the piano roll. If we go ahead and exit out of the piano roll, you'll see that we now have the notes compressed onto that single line for the particular sound slot. If we want, we can go ahead and now adjust the particular lengths of these notes. You can adjust the position and do all that kind of editing. But the important thing is that by doing it in this mode, you're not actually changing the particular notes. To do that, you would have to go back to the piano roll and then you can move the particular notes on the piano roll itself. Now as I said, you have to put instruments on the first module, but you can put other types of plugins on the second, third, and fourth module. So we can go ahead and select module number two, then go down to plugins, and then finally select a effect. Once again, we can open this up by clicking on edit. Now we can use the knobs on the machine hardware controller to do all sorts of different adjustments to this particular effect. So that is a quick overview of how VST plugins work within Native Instruments Machine. If you'd like to learn more about Machine, check out youtube.com slash thedjpodcast or thedjpodcast.com. Thanks for watching.